How are you? Welcome to Youth in Action. My name is Nyangwesa Grenis. In today's program, we have James Cyril Agot, a mechanical engineer turned baker. So James, this is a very interesting combination. How did the baking come about? Actually, my life is so interesting. Uh, I did uh, graphic design. Then uh, I did uh, IT. Then uh, I later did uh, mechanical engineering, specifically on uh, plant operation and maintenance. Yeah. Then uh, after finishing school, now I was home with my certificate. Yeah, with uh, actually no job. So I opted to find something to do. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, it's when uh, I went visiting. I went to visit an in-law. Then uh, to my in-law is where I found out that uh, I was talented in cooking, in which uh, the in-law is the one who, who identified the the skills in me so she she saw it and told me that i have so much good skills in cooking so i can run an hotel so after coming from my in-law i came back home and uh, now i was thinking of what to do yeah so in the thinking of what to do i just thought of baking as a business, because I had came across uh, someone in Facebook who do who does baking from home. So I was inspired by him, and now I opted to do baking. So I started marketing myself, even though I didn't know how to bake, but I was marketing myself. To my friends so a friend of mine approached me and uh, she told me she needs a cake the next day so i googled the a recipe of a cake and uh, i baked the cake then uh, the next day i searched in youtube how to decorate a cake and that's uh, how I decorated the cake, even though it was, it was, uh, <laughs> it was not that good, mm. because uh, the client gave me a feedback that the cake was nice, but, but the decoration, okay. yeah. So I saw that uh, that's uh, I need an I need to improve in my decoration, so I started to learn more from YouTube. I searched of videos of doing cakes, like decorating cakes. I watched the videos and uh, yeah, I learned slowly. As time goes by, I learned slowly. <clears throat> the funny thing is that I didn't practice on, uh, on uh, decoration. I used to practice on a client's cake. That's the funny part. Yeah, when a client orders the cake, I bake the cake and yeah, I decorate the cake through the video. After watching the videos, yeah, I decorate the cake. But uh, at some point now, I was going through Facebook and uh, I came across a lady. She's called uh, Marcy Cherotich of the Ambo. And I saw her cakes were perfect, so I just texted her and uh, 
told her that I know how to bake, but decoration is a problem. So she just told me that you come with the cake tomorrow and uh, I will show you how to do it. So the next day I went with the cake and uh, yeah, she gave me a hint on how to do the cake. And uh, yeah, I did the decoration part, even though it was not that perfect. And uh, after that, the, the lady told me that now I'm also a, a self-taught baker. Yeah, I learned through YouTube and uh, Pinterest. There's an app called Pinterest. Yeah, so she encouraged me and uh, advised me to go on with uh, just uh, watching more videos from YouTube and uh, from uh, Pinterest. Yeah, and uh, I'll be just okay. So after that, I just came back and uh, I've been uh, watching more videos and uh, watching more videos from uh, Pinterest and YouTube. Yeah, and uh, I think now I'm uh, somewhere. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, this is an interesting, very interesting shift from mechanical engineering to baking. How do your parents or your peers take it? Uh, for my parents, they, they take it positively because uh, when I told them I want to bake, they supported me by giving me a loan of 50,000 to start a, and to start the business. So for them, they supported me. They have really supported me so far. Yeah, and uh, for my friends, yeah, they took it positively, yeah. It is a cottage industry, right? Yes. And so where do you get your clientele and who are they? Uh, my clientele, I've, I get them from uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, WhatsApp, uh, referrals from uh, the ones I've done, the cakes I've done. Yeah, that's how I get my clientele. And uh, majority of the of my youths are, uh, uh, my majority of my clients are youths. And uh, yeah, a few of uh, elderly people. Mm. Yeah. And was it difficult starting to mobilize your business? Uh, we are in a modern society in which uh, there is uh, the social media. So for me, I can say it was not that hard, but uh, yeah, I did my marketing well and uh, yeah, I got clients. Yeah. In such a cottage industry, what are the skill sets and ethical issues to observe? Uh, skill sets, uh, one must be honest. Honesty is the key. You find that uh, you get a client from Facebook or from Instagram, <coughs> but uh, for the client to believe you and next time to give you another job to do for her or him, you have to be honest with him or her. If she tells you she, she needs a, a vanilla cake, you just do the vanilla cake. Yeah. And the decoration she wants, you do it the way she wants it. Yeah. Actually, the, uh, there's this say, says, the customer is always right. Yeah. So whatever she wants, you do it the way he or she wants it. Yeah. And uh, another uh, Another thing is uh, one must be time conscious. Yeah, you find that uh, a client gives you a cake, like uh, let's say a wedding cake. You know, a wedding is, uh, is so important to the bride and the groom. That's an important day. You don't need to disappoint. So time is uh, a key in uh, this business. Because you'll find that, let's say, the wedding, the wedding cake, you'll find that uh, they need it at, let's say, seven, exactly. So you have to deliver it by seven. 
in which uh, if uh, you take the cake past seven, that one will be already late. Yeah, and uh, you'll have uh, inconvenienced the people. Maybe they needed to use it by exactly seven, and you, you have gone late. You'll have uh, inconvenienced the person. Yeah, so time is a key. Another thing uh, is uh, uh, integrity. Yeah, you have to be to be true and uh, genuine. Yeah. Another thing I can say, you have to be kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and polite to your to your customers or clients. Yeah, so that uh, they come next time. Yeah, and uh, they can even refer more people. You know, if you do, if you you are kind to someone, the next time she wants a cake, or uh, her friend or his friend needs a cake, she she will refer them like, oh, you need a cake, go to Cyril. Yeah. In, in, the, in today's society, even supermarkets, apart from individuals, they bake. So how is the competition, and how have you taken it? Uh, competition must be there, and the competition make people grow. Yeah, so may take it positively. Yeah. You take the competition positively. Yeah, it makes people grow. Okay. Yeah. Any other challenges apart from the competition? Uh any other challenges? Uh yeah, there are so many challenges. Like uh you say the competition part. You find that uh your pricing and the other person's pricing is different. Yeah, so someone comes to you and asks about the price of the cake and uh, you tell him or her your price and uh, he starts referring you to the supermarkets. Yeah, you, you are so expensive, the supermarket is cheap. So, yeah, and uh, another challenge is, uh, <coughs> let's say, power, when there is loss of electricity yeah you find that you can't continue with your baking yeah and uh, another challenge uh last year there was this uh, uh pand pandemic the covid 19 it really affected so much in uh, my business yeah you find that uh, i had orders for wedding cakes and uh, due to that, uh, there was no gathering. Uh, you can't do the cake. Yeah, so there is no business there. So it was really a big challenge. Yeah, and there was no people buying ma much cake from me because uh, because of the that uh, restriction of gathering. Yeah. And what about you being male? And baking seems to have more female in the industry than male. How does that affect you? Being uh, being in this industry of uh, female dominated, uh, for me it doesn't affect me because I love doing this this uh, work. Yeah, so I don't see it as a big deal. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Mm. Yeah. You just be yourself and uh, do whatever you li like doing, yeah. And you're still a young person. What other activities are you engaged in, apart from baking? I, I, I volunteer at Jijenge. It's uh, an organization dealing with uh, menstrual health and uh, they also deal with uh, environment conservation. Yeah. Apart from that, uh, I volunteer at Homeless, Homeless Kisumu. They deal with the street kids in which uh, they feed them, uh, they, they deal with the social services, uh, they help them, uh, like they pass knowledge to the kids, to the street kids, yeah, in which uh, they meet every Saturday at Goan. So 
at Goan there is always a uh, <coughs> uh, story story reading story book reading mm-hmm. yeah with the kids so and uh, having fun with the kids encouraging them and uh, also you ha- you get to talk to them and know the problem they have yeah and being that uh, I'm at Jijenge <coughs> where where they also deal with the mental health so you get to know whatever is uh, going on with the street kids they go through a lot so you can uh, talk to them yeah uh tell us about your short term and long term goals uh my short term goals uh can say in a uh, two years time or uh, in a uh, years a years time uh I need to have have a, a mixer yeah I need to achieve a, a mixer like a machine yeah a machine that can help me help me do my work easily let's say if I have so much orders to do so I don't uh, I don't have to strain so much yeah and uh, my long term goal is uh, to own or to open a uh, bakery a bakery some uh, some years to come so that uh, i can uh, create job opportunities for youths because so many youths are graduating and uh, there is no job there is no job and uh, so I need to create uh, opportunities for them. Yeah. What about uh, your last thoughts or advice on self-employment? Uh my last thoughts are uh, I will say that uh youths so many youths are graduating and uh you find that they just sit home waiting for the government to provide job job opportunities to them and you find that some just sit at home uh waiting for their jobs but uh, they have skills yeah they have skills to do something that can give them money yeah so i would advise uh, youths to if you have a skill or if you love doing something that uh, can bring something some something to the table you do it hmm? don't be afraid to start or let's say if it's a business you want to start don't be afraid to start it just make that bold step of starting that business and uh, everything will be okay so long as you love doing whatever you want to do you will just be fine and uh, you will find that you will you will grow you will grow to a point where you will be surprised if it's if it's your uh, yeah so if you love doing something don't be afraid of starting whatever you do thank you so much james that is a very inspiring story if there is something you love doing go do it because gone are the days when certificates assured you of a permanent and a pensionable employment this has been youth in action i am nyangwe sogrenis bye This is the way to do it. This is the way